In any new development, you've got to build a community. Otherwise, it just becomes a group of individuals who happen to sleep somewhere but have no life other than that. And it was always an aim that that should be the case, that, that the church should, because the church has experience in this, should be a community building facility. And that's very much how Peter took it and how the church itself simply uh, walked into that very happily. And as folk came and joined, they took on that ethos. So the church has always been here for the community. The building arrived in five parts. It arrived in an absolute hooli of a storm. The rain was coming down, the mud was everywhere, and this thing landed in the mud. One of the people in the village said, you ought to give the place a name. I said, well, it looks like the ark to me. And so that's how it comes to be called the ark. It was the people that built the ark that built the community. They not only built the community, but they built the foundation of the Christian church as well, because the two went together. But, but I think the opportunity that new housing presents in terms of building community is fascinating. It's a privilege. Um, it's, a, it's a challenge. It's all these things. One of the things that we were about was service of this community ran a worship service as well but often we it was through our service of the community that really our message got heard and people thought we're worth listening to um, and so in many ways church in Camborne as a significant community began with service as much as it did as with a religious service our image of community needs to fit with where people are at here to work out what is community and what's real and offer different ways into community and different opportunities for service. And the vision of community needs to listen to the people that are already there. Before me, there were some fantastic volunteers who used to run it um, and carried on supporting the youth work when I was there. Um, Camel Church was always fantastic at being very community focused, but I felt as youth work, we needed to go that extra mile too. And that's how a lot of our work um, began really, was meeting young people either in school or on the streets or in more of the open access youth clubs and then find out what their needs were and trying to meet their needs. They're just like any other young people, they just want to be engaged with, they just want to be listened to and they just want to be just want to be loved. To have a building that we could offer them was, was such an opportunity just to meet and get to know people at so many different levels and I think now looking back on that we can really appreciate those um, relationships. The, the welcome time seemed to be shorter um, in, the be, in the beginning of Camborne. One week we'd be welcomed ourselves as new people and a few weeks later we'd be serving coffee to new people or being asked to do the sound or um, the overhead projector or something like that. And for most people that is a great way of, of linking in and really feeling part of a community. I, I, think, I think what does make it really, really special is that it gives something to the community, but the volunteers get such a lot out of it. It's about the friendships and the support, the fun, the laughter. The people that, that take part are doing it because they want to, because they gen, you know, genuinely want to be here. And, um, and I think when the, when the customers come in, it is a really um, personal approach to things. And they like that. They like that. It feels, I think it helps them to feel that this is theirs. And, and I think the volunteers feel that it's ours. So when you put those two things together, I think it creates something very, very special. I mean, people don't necessarily come in here because it's a church. They come in because it's a coffee house. The other thing we found moving into Camborne early was just such, what a disruption. We talked about of a dislocation that it was for people to move into Camborne. Such a spiritual dislocation. People continually underestimated the impact that that would have on their lives, on the lives of their children, of their work life, of the place from which they saw life from, because you'd moved. Team building is fundamental to the Christian faith, I believe, it's what we're all about. I was thrilled by how multicultural 
uh, a new housing development quickly becomes. Um, and there's a richness to that. Um, and there's a joy to be recognising that we are more than just a church of one denomination in, in Canberra. We were a multi-denominational church. Part of the reason for this video is to give some background um, to show some of the flavour of some of the issues and life that is, is Camborne now and, and how, things, how things did develop. How can we express community in a way that's relevant to 21st century, in a way that's about serving, it's about self-giving, it's about working with our people, it's about sharing the best of what's around in life and encouraging one another. One of the things we've spoken about is the Vine Interchurch Primary School and that has been a significant hub for this community, a place of welcome through its summer fates which opened beyond just those that went to the school the after-school provision, the whole wraparound care, the, the breakfast club. Because when we set that school up, one of the visions for it was, as well as academic excellence, it was to have gross spiritual awareness and for the whole child to be cared for. This is a place where humans have been before. There's a history about this place. And if you take a bit of time to examine more close, closely the history, you might find, you might be surprised by what you discover. We were thrilled to learn that the Benedictines could possibly have owned some land in this area. And so that was such a, a fabulous discovery to say, you know what, people have been here before. Uh, and the people that were here, let's, let us tell you about them and the way of life that they had and what life meant for them. And so in the early days we had a, um, we, set, we, we, we put people in monks' habits, we gave them apples to eat, they did calligraphy, to give them a feel of what life was like for, for these people in times past. And we have a real heart to reach out to Camborne as it continues to grow. So as I look out of the window, I'm looking towards Lower Camborne and where Camborne West um, is proposed uh, and, and those new housing communities in this area um, and how we might as Camborne Church respond um, to them with the love of Christ. Um, and we're very aware as we sit in this community today that there will be um, new families and new couples and new individuals moving into um, properties in Upper Camborne um, in the new developments um, in, in, in that part of Camborne. Um, so Camborne is a growing community and it grows daily um, and as more people move in with different nationalities and backgrounds and gifts so the community becomes richer as a result and our, our task our opportunity as a church community is to think about how we how we are for Jesus how we reveal Christ's presence in in not just in the center of Camborne and in the existing villages but in uh, new housing communities around Camborne as well it's not buildings that make a community it's the people Thank you.